In this video, we'll talk about the top five mistakes a developer, whether it's a front-end developer or back-end developer or database developer or services developer, these are the top five common mistakes most of the developers makes at work and um, they should be avoiding it. Before I talk about the uh, mistakes, uh, let me uh, introduce myself. My name is Ram Avancha. I have about 18 plus years of IT industry experience. So that makes you eligible to talk about the mistakes I've been seeing with the developers so far in my career and what they should be avoiding it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you learn something more uh, by watching each and every video. Coming back to the, uh, the mistake, the first mistake a developer should avoid is assumptions. Most of the time, a uh, developer assume things and they'll start working on it. Don't do that. Maybe in the uh, bigger companies, the assumptions might not uh, be in place because of the uh, strict protocols. But if you're working on a small, medium uh, level company, developer have a freedom to work on a lot of things. But at the same time, do not assume things. No, do not assume a requirement. Do not assume a, a particular function or a particular feature. So it's always good to ask the um, uh, a business analyst or the lead before you jump into the particular project or a particular program or uh, any particular task which is given to you. So no assumptions at workspace. The second mistakes you should avoid is not following the standards. Maybe because of the timelines, maybe because of the pressure from the leads or maybe from the clients, most of the time developer work late or maybe they um, stretch their time or maybe because of the uh, pressure, they tend to ignore the standards and they'll start writing a code which is not in a readable format or maybe not following the standards. So that's going to cause a ripple effect in the future because the moment you start fixing things, maybe, you know, some of the, some of the method or some of their uh, class will break and that is not good in the longer run. Though it's uh, delaying, uh, even if uh, the lead is saying you have to finish it, tell them, go back uh, and communicate with them that, no, you are writing a code in a proper manner. You're not rushing. You're making sure the code works in the future as well. So no, no assumptions and make sure to follow the standards to the core. The third uh, mistake most of the developer does is reporting. Uh, again, because of the tasks or make it because of the schedules, some of the developers don't report the status back to the leads. Um, when you don't report the status, we don't know as a lead, or as a project manager, or maybe as a our client, we don't know where we stand. Are we on right path? Are we delaying? So maybe uh, you're thinking you're writing good uh, program or you're making good progress, but that should be communicated to your leads, your immediate supervisors without any fail. So make sure you communicate whether you're um, making good progress or you're not making good progress and what you need um, to improve the uh, the speed. So make sure to talk about that. So communication is uh, a key here. Reporting and communication is the third thing you should be uh, uh, following. So don't make a mistake of not communicating. The fourth mistake uh, I've noticed is most of the developer when they're stuck, they spend hours and hours researching how to fix the issue but instead you should be asking an expert for help do not assume things uh, or do not spend more than 30 minutes to debug issue if it is taking more than 30 minutes immediately go for your uh, lead and ask them you know i'm stuck here i'm not work it's not working don't be shy don't think that no if it if you're asking for help uh, that lead will think you're not smart enough no because if we, if the problem is really big if it is taking more than 30 minutes for you, assume it uh, instead of wasting project time, it's okay for asking for help. Maybe uh, search for a solution on a Stack Overflow or any other uh, platforms, which might give a issue, uh, which might give a solution. 90% um, of the time, the solutions are available on Stack Overflow. You just have to adopt it and implement it. And if that is not working, that's when you have to go out and seek for help. So what you're doing at that point is you're not just taking the stress, you're passing on the stress. So make sure you pass on the stress to the leads or other um, technical people to solve that issue rather than just you spending on that problem 
for hours and days. And finally, efficiency. Do not spend long hours working on a particular uh, project or particular program. Make sure you're finding a right way to write the uh, coding. Maybe you have to leverage what is available in the market. Don't copy it, but you can just uh, make a reference and see how fast you can write the code or maybe complete the task. So be efficient. Do not be a, uh, a long haul worker. People, most of the leads or management will judge based on the outcome, not based on how many hours you spend at work. These are the top five mistakes you should avoid at work. And let me know what exactly you learned, what point you learned in this video in the form of comments. And um, if you're not subscribed, do make sure to subscribe so that you can learn more from this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.